Ah, the mythical and legendary overdrive pedal that is... The Mosky Golden Horse. <laughs> Only joking. I did always wonder though what it would sound like against the original climb. Hmm. Great. Let's find out. This isn't the original though, it's the Cherryatone Centura. I'm still not Warren Buffett. I reviewed this Mosky. This is the Must Lady Golden Horse. Same pedal, different name. Yep, I bought another one just for this video. And I also missed it just a little bit. I reviewed it in a previous video. It had a good overdrive and distortion sound. But as I understand it, the Clon is a clean boost. So it didn't seem that much of a clone in that respect. However, now I have a chance to actually find out. Here's a fun fact. The original designer of the Klon, Bill Finnegan, is actually making them again. You can check him out on eBay at Klon Direct Sales, where he builds them one by one by hand. And as I was reading through the description, he said that he has built a few for a friend of his to also sell on eBay to get them through hard times, and will continue to do so. So, a legendary pedal and a legendary guy, as it turns out. Tone Centura is near as damn it a Klon Centaur. They make them in Malaysia, and the story goes that the owner bought an original Centaur for $4,000 and degooped it to figure out the circuit. There's plenty of videos on it comparing it to the original, so in this video I'm going to pitch it against a little golden horse, which in itself is becoming a little online legend, and find out if there are any similarities and whether it's actually a Klon clone or just a little budget golden overdrive pedal with a picture of a horse on it and a random guy throwing an axe. Like, who throws an axe like that? I'll play some things that bring out the sound of these pedals to give you the best representation. Headphones are also going to help. A little reverb from the hot rod amp, but other than that, just the sound of these pedals.
interesting. In fact, very interesting. When I originally demoed this little golden pedal, I had nothing really to compare it to. Although I thought it sounded good, had a good overdrive sound, a good distortion sound, and was well worth $20 or 15 quid. But now, I mean, the Cherrier tone has more sparkle to it, brings out more of the dynamics of the pickups, and you can hear the quality difference, no denying that. But is it 10 times the price different? For the money, this little thing is so close. And if you haven't got $250 or 200 quid for the Centura, then go for the Mosque or Must Lady. This is only my representation of the pedal though, and I have the luxury of hearing it first hand. I mean, in gig use, you won't hear it, I don't think. But in a recording situation, when you want the very best tone, probably. Did you hear any significant difference? I mean, aside from the slightly crisper and more dynamic sound of the Centura, it's pretty close, isn't it? Kudos to Mosky, I say, making our little pedal sound that good for $20. I think I'll keep this one this time, and I'll also be keeping the Cheerio tone, as this thing sounds awesome. It's as good as they say it is. I'm glad I did this video, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. I hope you enjoyed it enough to give it a like. Entirely up to you, of course. See ya.